People, including Elon Musk himself, have been talking about this for years, but it seems like Tesla might actually be taking the first baby steps to set up their own ride hailing network. Let's take a look. For those of you interested in investing, check out Webull, an amazing platform for buying and selling stocks, and now cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and others. Open an account and get a free stock valued at up to $200, and fund your account and get another free stock valued at up to $1,600. Check out the link in the description and help the channel at the same time. Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. So I'm wearing It's Speculation Time, which you can get in the merch store if you're interested. Check the link in the description. Anyway, this seems like an appropriate shirt today. I want to start off by saying like, you know, <laughs> take this all with a grain of salt. We actually don't even know if the original post is true or not, right? We're just all sort of believing things. The information I'm getting here comes from the Kilowatts, which is the Great channel, great group of people, so you can definitely check them out if you want. It's not them that I distrust, of course, because they even say, take this with a grain of salt. So anyway, I just want to start off by saying that. Don't, you know, say like, oh, you're speculating on things. It's like I'm literally wearing it's speculation. Anyway, let's start right off with the tweets themselves. So here you can see at 5.30 on the 17th of February, the kilowatt said, just got a ride in a Uber owned Tesla. Yes, you read that right. My Uber driver told me that the Model 3 he is driving driving isn't his or owned by Hertz, but rather a pilot program being run by Tesla with a small number of highly ranked Uber drivers in California. And of course they mentioned Elon Musk in this tweet, I assume to see if he would reply, which he hasn't yet as far as I know. Anyway, the kilowatts did respond to themselves here with another tweet. Obviously take this with a grain of salt. One of us could have been mistaken, but I was asking pretty direct questions about who owned the car and who was paying the bill for it. Apparently, he only pays for supercharging, and Tesla is providing the car free of charge for now. So again, assuming all the facts of this are correct, it's worth noting that Tesla is providing this car free of charge to this Uber driver, which is a pretty sweet deal, actually. I'm sure that they're asking him to drive a certain number of miles or something like that to be able to make it valuable for themselves. But if anybody doesn't know, the way that Uber works is that Uber sets up the rides for you and everything, but you are responsible for your own car and you're responsible for your own insurance, which means that there's a lot of cost involved with driving an Uber around. So if Tesla is actually providing this for free for a select number of high quality Uber drivers, that's of course really, really revealing because what it indicates is that Tesla really wants to make this happen. They could just go out, I drive a Tesla and I have driven Uber before. So they could have just said, hey John, do you want to drive your Tesla as an Uber uh, as a way of experimenting or something? I don't know, something like that. But this is a whole different thing. This is Tesla providing the car to the Uber driver free of charge at this point, so that this person can drive the car around and utilize it as if it was their own car that they were driving for Uber. One interesting little sidelight here is I wonder what the deal is with Uber because Uber requires a lot of documentation. I had to send them my driver's license, my proof of insurance, my proof of registration, all sorts of things. So if this person doesn't actually own the Tesla, I wonder how he gets that. I don't know if Tesla is taking that care of that for him or something like that. Anyway, that's kind of beside the point. The big question of course here is why? Why would Tesla go to the trouble of doing this? Especially when cars are backed up for months and months and months for people to get them. Why would be, they be seeding out? Now, admittedly, this is probably, you know, maybe a dozen, maybe 50 at the most cars that they're seeding out there. But obviously, they are willing to forego selling these cars in order to test out something. And again, the driver said that it was a pilot program that something that they're obviously testing out to figure out how to grow it or whether it's worthwhile to do that. So why would Tesla be doing this? Well, the obvious reason and the thing that people have talked about, including again, Elon Musk have talked about, is that they want to have their own driverless ride hailing network, right? So I don't know what they'll call it, Tesla ride or something like that. <laughs> I actually got Tesla vision right long before anybody else did. And I said Tesla bot a long time before anybody else did. So I got those two right. So maybe we'll just call it Tesla ride or something like that. Anyway, we'll see. If Tesla does that, I'll be like, man, I got three for three at this point. But anyway, what they want to do long term is they want their Teslas, the ones that they manufacture, they won't sell them to anybody. They will just own these cars and they will go out, you know, they'll ship them wherever they need to in the country and then the world eventually. And you will, you know, say you're on the Tesla ride network. You'll say, I need a ride from here to here. The car will come and get you without a driver. It'll drive you to where you go. It'll drop you off and you go and 
you know, go to work, go to the grocery store, whatever it is that you need to do. So that's the dream. That's the long-term goal. But there's a problem because there's an in-between state. So number one, it's going to take a while, right? Even if Tesla gets to level four autonomy by the end of this year, which again, I'm getting a little bit more suspicious because 10.10 seemed to be kind of a weird thing. But anyway, let's hold on to what Elon said. End of 2022 is when they're going to have level four autonomy solved. Even if they get it done by the end of 2022, I would be incredibly surprised if the NHTSA and other governmental entities would approve them before 2024 or so. So it could easily be a couple of years before they get that. And they've got one year here too. So in the meantime, it would make sense if they kind of piloted all this stuff out with actual drivers. So again, Tesla still owns this car. I assume they're paying for insurance. Doesn't sound like this person's paying any kind of leasing or renting or anything like that with it. He's just paying for the supercharging or, you know, fueling it up if you want to put it that way. So anyway, those things indicate to me that what they want to do is figure out how to scale out something where they have all of these cars that they own themselves. Currently, they're using Uber to figure out how to do the logistics of ride hailing and also to do the payment systems. But I would not be surprised at all if Tesla was internally working on that themselves. And what they'll do is maybe over time take these Uber drivers and ask them if they'll drive for the Tesla ride network instead. So they'll kind of siphon them off from Uber once they've got a basic scenario worked out for how to do the ride hailing log logistics of all of that. So basically they'll create another Uber on their own or potentially of course they could purchase another company, maybe not Uber, but maybe somebody like Lyft or something like that that's not as big of a market cap. But so they could do that, but you know, knowing Elon Musk and how he loves to build everything from the ground up, I could certainly see Tesla just building this thing themselves. So they'll build a whole new ride hailing network from the ground up, first principles, whatever. But they will be using people in the meantime, because like I said, we've got all of 2022 to go at the very least, and then probably a couple of more years. So we're looking at at least three-ish years before they would be allowed to have driverless ride hailing service. By then, they would love to have the whole thing worked out. All of the scaling, all of the network, all of the cars in the right places, all of that kind of stuff. And remember, this guy doesn't own the Tesla. So at any point, Tesla can just go, thank you very much, that's our car now, and we're gonna use it for what we want to, right? So I think, I think this is an intermediate solution. What they're looking for is a way to build out a network be able to do it in a profitable way, right? You know, so they can have these people getting paid and doing all of this stuff and they can make some money. They can figure out how to do the whole payment system. They can figure out how to do the whole thing about getting the car from point A to point B and all of the logistics of all of that stuff. So they can work all of those things out before they have driverless ride hailing. And at which point they can just go click and they can flip a switch on and all of a sudden they've got a huge network that's already out there that is driverless capable and they can and just make it happen anywhere they want to, right? So if we see this go from California, I'm guessing probably some larger cities in California, if it starts popping up in like New York and Chicago, maybe Atlanta, uh, Miami, things like that. If it starts popping up in major cities where we're seeing more and more people driving Tesla cars that Tesla's paying for in a pilot program type of thing, then I, you know, I think my suspicions will be not confirmed, but it will, my confidence in all of this will go up drastically. I'm already pretty confident that this is what's going on. Again, I'm speculating, but I think it's pretty obvious that what Tesla is doing is that they are building out this ride hailing network, all of the infrastructure, all of that stuff with human drivers because they don't have to deal with any of the regulatory stuff. Because remember, Tesla is always thinking multiple years into the future. Why would they not be thinking about this? People have been talking about this for a long time. In fact, I've talked about this before, but I just think it's really interesting that we're now seeing potentially evidence that this is actually happening and that's super, super cool. So anyway, again, we're talking about speculation here. I don't have direct evidence. This is kind of third-hand sort of stuff on Twitter, which we all know is the ultimate authority for everything. So anyway, you know, don't get too bent out of shape if it turns out this isn't real. But I wanted to talk about this because if it is real, I think we're seeing the beginning of the stepping stones to the Tesla ride network that will get rolled out over the next several years. And when Tesla's allowed to do driverless ride hailing, wherever that is, they'll just flip a switch and turn it on.
All right, I hope you enjoyed this episode and found it fun and interesting. If you did, please do like it so other people can find it. And of course, consider subscribing for more of this kind of content. As always, a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. I, Claudia, you get another one here. She was the one who actually posted the Kilowatts tweet on our Discord channel. And I was like, oh gosh, I've got to do a quick episode on that. So anyway, thank you very much for posting that. I, who knows, it was a busy day. I might've missed it otherwise. And of course, if you want to join the team, check out the link in the description. And if you're interested in a whole bunch of really cool merch, check out our merch store. Link is in the description. We have TeslaBot t-shirts, the Tesla meme t-shirt, success is a possible outcome, 4680 battery cells. All of that stuff is on t-shirts, mugs, tumblers, and on and on. So check it out. And for those of you interested in investing, check out Webull, an amazing platform for buying and selling stocks and now cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and others. Open an account and get a free stock valued at up to $200 and fund your account and get another free stock valued at up to $1,600. Check out the link in the description and help the channel at the same time. Thank you. And finally, don't forget that we are both Tesla and Amazon affiliates. If you look in the description, you can see how going shopping for a solar roof, a power wall, or anything on Amazon helps out the channel. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.